Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here, and I'm so angry. I recently got into a fight with my best friend. Two days earlier. You're a big jerk, you know that? I know you are, but what am I? You're the dude that crashed my favorite truck. It's a stick. I don't even know how to drive that. Well, that's how you crashed it. You don't even let me drive it. Because you crashed it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yeah? Well, it doesn't matter what you say to me because I don't want to talk to you again anymore. Fine. <laughs> I can't believe he accused me of that. We've never gotten into a fight like that before. I know, I was nowhere near his truck. And how did this even happen in the first place? Naughty Nautical Neighbors is the episode where Squidward and SpongeBob and Patrick's friendship, and they both end up fighting over Squidward as a best friend. It was only a matter of time until an episode with that title came out. This episode aired on August 7th, 1999. It introduced a couple of elements that have become recurring themes in the series, such as Spongebob and Patrick getting into a fight-slash-argument of some sorts and Squidward's house getting destroyed. Similar to Bubble Stand and Jellyfishing, this episode focuses on Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward, which, as I already established, is very popular in the series and has created some extremely memorable episodes of the series. This episode is very simple, but also relatable. Relatability is also important for a good story, and I already talked about this too. There's not much more I can say right now, so let's watch it and relive Spongebob and Patrick's first fight and the first time Squidward's house got destroyed. So the episode starts up and Squidward has just finished making a souffle. He is very proud of his work and gussies himself up to eat his souffle. Before he starts to dig in, he hears giggling and looks out the window to see what it is. Spongebob and Patrick were blowing bubbles by whispering into them, and when the bubbles pop, they heard each other's voices speak the messages they whispered into them. Squidward gets annoyed, as always, and takes liquid from his souffle and whispers an insult into a bubble and sends it to Patrick, and he thinks Spongebob insulted him and proceeds to insult him back. Spongebob gets confused, and then Squidward sends a bubble to him, insulting Spongebob, leaving him shocked. Squidward proceeds to send more bubbles with insults. That son of a- Spongebob and Patrick begin arguing from their own yards, and Squidward comes out to eat his souffle, being entertained by their fight. Spongebob and Patrick end their friendship going inside to their houses. When Patrick slants his rock, he looks all squashed, and Squidward laughs so hard, he accidentally swallows his fork and starts choking. Patrick sees Squidward choking and performs CPR, saving his life. Squidward is thankful that Patrick saved his life and becomes Patrick's new friend. Spongebob sees this and Patrick goes inside Squidward's house and Squidward says he was going to practice his clarinet solo. Spongebob then tries to talk to Gary, but he won't come out of his shell. Inside Squidward's house, Patrick becomes excited to hear the clarinet solo, but falls asleep as soon as Squidward starts playing it. Spongebob tries to cheer himself up by saying he has other friends, but can't think of any and starts to draw faces on his fingers and then becomes upset. Well, he has Mr. Krabs, Sandy, and Larry. That's three friends right there. Squidward then proceeds to drag Patrick out of his house, but he throws out his back in the process. Spongebob hears this and rushes over to help Squidward despite his protests. Spongebob launches himself into Squidward's back and fixes it, and Squidward thanks Spongebob and calls him a friend, immediately realizing his mistake. Spongebob and Squidward go inside, and Spongebob says that a real friend would perform for Squidward, and proceeds to play a song on a bassinet, but poorly. As somebody who played violin back in the day, that is a double bass, not a bassinet. As he plays, Patrick appears at the window, and Spongebob gets mad and ends up accidentally smashing the bass. I know it's a cartoon, but I don't know if I could stand seeing a string instrument get destroyed in real life. Squidward gets furious and kicks Spongebob out of his house. He then proceeds to go take a bath, but sees Patrick in his bathtub. Put some clothes on. I said the same thing to my brother when he came into my room in only his underwear on when I was playing video games. Spongebob appears at the window and sees Patrick in the bathtub and gets mad. Spongebob and Patrick start arguing and Squidward runs out of his house. He then has to come up with a plan to get Spongebob and Patrick to be friends again and leave him alone. Later on, Spongebob gets an invite to a dinner party at Squidward's house. When he gets there, he sees Patrick and they both realize that it was a setup all along. Squidward offers Spongebob and Patrick soda, and soon enough they both compete to see who drinks the most soda Squidward gives them so they will be a true friend to Squidward. 
What kind of soda comes in a spray bottle like that? When Squidward runs out of soda, Spongebob and Patrick are hilariously fat, and Squidward leaves them all alone so he can get more. After he leaves, Spongebob and Patrick still refuse to talk to and even look at each other. Spongebob hiccups a bubble, which makes a burping sound when it pops, and they both laugh and start to bond again. However, the house fills up with bubbles and explodes just as Squidward comes home. Spongebob and Patrick are friends again, and Squidward screams at them to leave. He then slams the door, a bubble pops, the door crushes Squidward, and the episode ends. So that was Naughty Nautical Neighbors, and I have to say it's really good. There are so many great moments in this episode. The moment that always made me laugh the most is when Patrick randomly appears in Squidward's bathtub. Other awesome scenes include Patrick after he slams his rock, the competition to drink the most soda, and Spongebob playing the double bass horribly. Back in the day, I remember seeing a YouTube meme with the double bass scene known as It took Spongebob blank amount of time to master this, where Spongebob would play some random music and it always ends with the double bass abruptly getting destroyed. Nowadays, it's not as prevalent as it used to be, unfortunately. The scenes of Spongebob and Patrick getting into a fight and Spongebob feeling lonely are relatable since all friends get into some kind of fight at some point in their lives and being lonely is painfully accurately represented by Spongebob in this episode. I should know. The Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward dynamic here is awesome and another aspect that really makes this episode shine. Both of these aspects on their own would make an amazing episode great but combined makes this story even better. Not to say other episodes don't use these factors well, but this does the best friends fighting aspect first, which is also important. It's also nice when Spongebob and Patrick become friends again at the end. While this always happens whenever they get into an argument slash fight, this is still a nice way to introduce that trope, and most importantly, it's funny. Naughty Nautical Neighbors is a great episode that shows that even the best of friends will get into their arguments, but will always get back together. Speaking of which, my best friend and I made a bar fight yesterday. Sorry I accused you all that stuff. Still friends? Still friends. Turns out this one girl who previously ruined my life during school crashed the truck and somehow framed me. I have no clue how the hell she did that, but we got her back by filling the gas tank of her car with sugar, slashing all her spare tires, and taking her spare tire. 